Okay, now that you know the basics, let's dive into some of the nitty gritty cases that you're probably wondering about. For example, what if you're like, Britta, I don't want this product to live in my stand store, but I want to send it to a certain amount of people. What do I do? This is where landing pages come in. You can actually make private landing pages inside stand. Example of this would be a book and one-on-one -on -one call with me. Maybe you don't want this directly on your stand store because you only want it for your previous customers, or maybe you want to offer a discount price to members in your community. So what you're going to do is build that product on your stand store. Then after you publish it, they go to the three dots on the right-hand side and then click where it says make landing page. Once you do that, scroll down to your my store page where all your products are out, you'll have a new section that says landing pages. What this does is it moves it off your stand store, but it still lives as a live link. So in order to share that with your customers, click the three dots again on that same product and then click copy URL. Then from there, paste that URL wherever you want in Facebook groups, engagement groups, or maybe group chats you have with your previous audience, or even like email them that specific link and you're good to go. What's really cool is that you can have as many landing pages as you'd like. You can also use these landing pages in your email funnel. And then that brings me to my next question, which is probably what you're thinking right now. Now, Britta, please explain what a funnel is. Listen, I didn't know what a funnel was either. The word funnel is thrown around so much as a little buzzword, but I'm going to tell you exactly what funnel means in Stan. The biggest thing with a funnel here is that you can actually add an upsell. So what will happen is someone will purchase that first product and then once they're checking out, another page pops up and offers them another one of your products and says, hey, would you like to add this product on for a one-time discount? We've actually seen 30% increase of conversions by creators who use upsells. Funnels also generate their own URL. For example, if you're running a specific campaign, you can add add your funnel link into the link in your bio, or you can even add the link into your existing stand store. And the best way to add the funnel to your already existing stand store is by adding it as an external URL link product. Once you click the product, just copy and paste that link right in there and no one else will know that it's a funnel except for you. When you want to edit this funnel though, you will go to the funnels tab on the left hand side of the menu and then just edit it in that specific funnel. Let's do another use case. Let's say you have a really large coaching package that you want to offer. You can go into the product, go to advanced settings, and you can actually do limited quantity or a payment plan. You can break the payment plan up into four and you can also offer an order bump. An order bump is a little bit different than an upsell because it will live on the same landing page of the checkout page so people can one tap click to add that to their order. If you have any other questions about that, please let me know. But the last video, we're going to talk about how to actually go live and start making money with your products. I'll see you there.